Hi, I'm Brian with ericsontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to discuss what the Earth is made of. So, depending on whether or not you're looking at the core, the mantle, or the Earth's surface, you're going to get different uh, chemical compositions. Um, but just the Earth in general is composed of about eight main elements, and uh, within that there's four superabundant elements, and then sort of all the rest. Um, so we're going to look at the main elements that make up the Earth. You'll notice that the first two, iron and oxygen, make up uh, roughly 30% each. So iron is the most abundant at 32.1%. Then you have oxygen, which is 30.1% of the entire composition of Earth. The next two are silicon and magnesium. They're roughly around 15%. So silicon is 15.1 and magnesium is 13.9. Um, it's worth noting that the majority of iron consists or take it occurs in the core, and uh, a lot of these other ones occur in the outer layers of the Earth. Um, you also have um, four additional elements that occur in much smaller amounts. Sulfur is at 2.9%, nickel is at 1.8%, calcium is 1.5%, and aluminum is 1.4%, with all the other elements only taking up 1.2% of the Earth's composition. So, now when the Earth formed, um, there was this differential separation of elements and a lot of the really, really heavy elements made their way to the core or the center and a lot of the lighter ones um, went towards the surface. Um, so we're just going to examine the core to look at just how different its composition is. So the core is made up of mainly three elements. The core is 88.8% iron, so it's almost all iron. It's pretty heavy um, and there's an additional 5.8% um, of nickel and 4.5% of sulfur. So these all combined make up roughly 99% of the, the Earth's core. You have a couple of other elements that exist there, but they're in percentages of less than 1%. So this has been a brief examination of the different elements that make up the Earth.